Hello, I'm coming to you once again from my office in the Rayburn House office building across the street from the Capitol. I wanted to uh, express uh, some concern today about uh, uh, presidential executive orders. Throughout our history, um, uh, presidential executive orders have been uh, used uh, uh, only for uh, non-controversial, uh, administrative, housekeeping, procedural type uh, matters. They've not been used to uh, try to uh, replace the Congress. A little over a year ago, uh, President Obama made a major change in our immigration law through an executive order, and a lot of people, including me, had uh, uh, real concerns about that. Now there is discussion about uh, uh, the President uh, making, uh, one report said, 19 uh, significant changes in our gun control laws, on our, on our gun laws, by executive order. And then I read in one of the uh, publications just this morning uh, that uh, uh, the Sierra Club has uh, called on the president to uh, uh, make some major uh, uh, climate um, uh, initiatives or laws uh, because they feel it would be too difficult to um, pass the laws through the Congress. And they have requested that he do these uh, uh, things on the environmental front through executive orders. Uh, we are not supposed to live and should not live in any type of dictatorship. Uh, we're supposed to live in the United States of America. And significant, important uh, uh, changes in our major laws should be approved by the Congress, by the House and Senate, and then signed by the President. These things uh, on immigration, uh, uh, gun control, uh, and major climate um, uh, laws or environmental laws should be done uh, through the Congress. They should not be done uh, by executive order, uh, simply by the President. Uh, this is a dictatorial power grab, if carried out, that in my opinion uh, should not be going on. And I wanted uh, at least my constituents to know that I am very concerned about this and very much opposed to this uh, uh, power grab uh, that some of the President's top uh, uh, supporters and aides are calling on him to uh, uh, perform. Thank you.